playing? Everybody knows it's Woody Folsom Overflow. North First Street here in Jessup. Lim Tootin's our general manager, and he and his staff are knocking themselves out to give you more car for your money and more money for your car. That's the Woody way. Just get in here and talk to us. We'll take great care of you. Sales, service, selection, and financing. We're overflowing with great deals. Come get you one. Don't forget, nearly every pre-owned vehicle comes with a free lifetime powertrain warranty. Good as long as you own that vehicle. I want to thank you for being so good to us at our newest store in Jessup. This is Woody. Talk to us. Woody Folsom Overflow. First Street in Jessup, GA. Now be sure to get you one with a good air conditioner. (laughs) You can thank me later. (laughs) Nearly every pre-owned vehicle comes with a free lifetime powertrain warranty. The birthday and anniversary calendar here on Big Dog Country is aired weekday mornings about 725 right after local news. It's easy to let us know who you know is having a birthday or anniversary. Email us the birthdays and anniversaries at birthdays at BigDogCountry.com. Text them in at 912-427-3711 or call them in weekdays from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at 427-3711. Then listen in about 725 weekday mornings to hear the birthdays and anniversaries right here on WIFO 105.5 FM. Smart Physical Therapy in Jessup has moved. They're now located at 360 Peachtree Street next door to Wayne Family Practice. Smart Physical Therapy specializes in manual therapy to reduce pain in your joints as well as advanced strengthening for surgical and non-surgical conditions. Among other manual therapy treatments, they also offer dry needling. If you have any questions, call or come by anytime. Smart Physical Therapy offers free consultations. When you're in the need for therapy, see Garrett Pye or Nick Childs at Smart Physical Therapy. Give them a call at 559 27 559-2071 or go by and see them in their new office at 360 Peachtree Street across the street from Dr. Spinola and Dr. Hendricks. They're next door to Wayne Family Practice behind the Jessup Hospital. And remember, it's your choice on where you want to have therapy. Choose Smart Physical Therapy in Jessup. Call them at 559-2071. 559-2071. Smart Physical Therapy, 360 Peachtree Street in Jessup. Great products, low prices, helpful service. That's Harris Ace Hardware. Harris Ace is your place for Yeti coolers, Traeger grills, Costa Demar sunglasses, Calcutta Renegade coolers, plus Harris Ace is your hometown dealer for yellow wood treated lumber. Harris Ace will not be undersold on price, so you know you're getting the best price at Harris Ace. Your favorite place for hardware and lumber supplies is Harris Ace Hardware, West Cherry Street in Jessup. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. You'll always save when you buy your groceries at your Jessup Piggly Wiggly. On sale to the pig, fresh chicken drumsticks or thighs, only 88 cents a pound. Ground chuck, a low 278 a pound. Fresh cherries, 188 a pound. And juicy cantaloupes, a dollar 68 each. Save at Piggly Wiggly on center cut loin pork chops, only a dollar 98 a pound. And country style pork ribs, 189 a pound. Shop and save at your Jessup Piggly Wiggly on West Cherry Street. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for Local Ladies 10 Local News. In the news, the day is the final day of early voting for the local runoff in District 3 for County Commissioner and the statewide runoffs on the Republican ballot for Governor, Lieutenant Governor, and Secretary of State. There's a Democratic runoff for State School Superintendent on the ballot. Here in Wayne County, Thursday, the best day for turnout in a three-week voting period as 134 registered voters visited the registrar's office to cast their votes. 126 Republicans, 8 Democrats, bringing the grand total of votes cast in Wayne County to 741. Over 15,000 registered voters in the county. Only local runoff has taken place in District 3 for the county commissioner's seat. Incumbent Mike Roberts scoring off against challenger Farrell Cooksey with the winner set to run against the Democratic candidate in the race, Kenny Teston. Statewide, the race for Republican nomination for governor getting all the headlines and publicity. Brian Kemp and Casey Cagle continue to attack one another seeking the nomination. Brian Kemp on Wednesday received the endorsement of President Donald Trump, and on Thursday the announcement came that Vice President Mike Pence will be in Macon, Georgia, Saturday at a Brian Kemp rally to encourage Georgia voters to vote for Kemp in this runoff.
Casey Cagle telling Georgia voters that he has the endorsement of the governor, Nathan Deal, and that he says that is important in the state of Georgia. Today and Tuesday, the last two days to vote. Today at the registrar's office from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Again, open for lunch for your convenience. Then on Tuesday, July 24th, the polling places in Wayne County will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. And on Tuesday night, the races will be decided. Televised debate between Casey Cagle and Brian Kemp was heated and entertaining. Kemp referring to Casey Cagle several times in the debate as Pinocchio, claiming that Cagle was simply stretching the truth. Once again, just a few days before this heated race is decided, latest AJC polls show Kemp with the lead as the Trump endorsement has given him the latest bump in the polls. Cagle carried the most votes in the primary. Again, the winner faces Stacey Abrams for the race for governor in the state of Georgia in November. Both the city and county have votes in November. We'll come back and take a look at those votes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at the Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trademark, the tool supply place. Stop creditor harassment today. Stop the worry of a pending repossession, garnishment, or foreclosure. Contact the Bankruptcy Group, Attorney R. Flake Cabinets, for an experienced assessment of your financial situation. They have locations in Brunswick, Hazelhurst, and now Jessup. They are a debt relief agency. They help people file for bankruptcy relief. Call the office at 912-375-5620. 375-5620 to set up your free consultation. Let the Bankruptcy Group do the worrying for you. Now serving Jessup. Neesmith Chevy Buick GMC in Jessup is the original home of no hassle buying. We get you the right vehicle at the right price. No fuss, no muss. That's why you got to come see us. I'm General Manager Lee Merida. From our lot to your driveway, I'm here to make the buying process simple, easy, and always hassle-free. At Neesmith, we believe car buying should be stress-free. That's why our team is trained to help, not to hassle. Hey, y'all. I'm new car manager, Marty Neal. I want to help you get the most bang for your buck without breaking your bank. Huge selection, huge savings. That's how we do it. When you buy a pre-owned car from me, you don't have to think twice because you know you're getting the no-hassle price. Whatever your budget or credit is, I'll find the perfect deal for you. Neesmith Chevy Buick GMC. We're just up the road in Jessup and online at Neesmith jessup.com chevy find new roads at tuesday's board of education meeting on the agenda was a discussion of the east Bloss, which the registered voters in wayne county will decide yes or no to continue the one cent penny for education superintendent and board members stating they're looking for the city and county elected officials to help support them in the east Bloss as the school system supported them with the passage of the Sploss vote last november superintendent says here's all this talk about the county looking to raise their millage rate Superintendent Jay Brinson suggests they hold off until the vote on the East Bloss takes place. Superintendent says when all these governing bodies met last year to talk about the discussion of the Sploss and East Bloss, there was a gentleman's agreement that everyone would work together and support one another. Here was discussion about the East Bloss at Tuesday's Board of Education meeting. Meeting, but I think that we have to be uh, people of our word, and we gave them the undivided support until we're in return for asking for that same group of support from those officials. Oh, absolutely. And, and I recall those same meetings when we had a gentleman's agreement that we were all in this together, city, county, and, and board of education that we were going to, because like a year ago we were talking about putting, putting our East Plus on the uh, November 17th ballot. Um, and they really felt, as a group, we felt like that was not the thing to do. It might be too much to turn it off in the city, county, really needed that East Plus. And we, we agreed, because theirs ran out for four hours, uh, current East Plus, and we agreed that. You know, we would support theirs full speed ahead, and then a year from then they would support ours. So, and I've heard that talk about the county, you know, raising their millage, but I got confidence in them. They're going to hold up their, uh, you know, and be true to what they said in those meetings. And, you know, they, I understand they have a deficit they have to, to address, but um, that deficit's been there, hmm, I, I, could, I could say six, seven years. I think one more year is not going to uh, shut them down. Um, to get our education system 
and is the largest employer in the county. And if everybody's true to their word about working together for a better Wayne County, I think they, it's time to make the school system a priority. And let's let's get the voters behind this East Cross. And then after that, we can we can start working on. You know, if everybody's in debt, um, that's certainly something we need to work on. You know, just 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 like we handle our business, and we have our challenges and things we have to work our way out of. But you know, I'm confident in the city and county will support. And I'm a full supporter of Iron Spots because it's, it's, it's for our kids. You know, uh, better buildings for our kids. You know, you got those kids over in the sweat box called James Bacon the Nest. And uh, that, that's, that's going to be a, a, a big improvement for those kids to, to get them to where they need to be with the rest of the kids in the system. So, you know, when everybody goes to the polls, you need to think about um, that it is actually going to help those kids. Uh, have a better uh, educational environment. Once again, those are the comments of the board and superintendent at the Tuesday board meeting about the East Boss. Again, Superintendent Jay Brinson encouraging the county commissioners not to increase the millage in August, but from all reports, commissioners looking at increasing the millage rate as they just returned from their retreat on Jekyll Island and Commissioner Ralph Hickox at their July meeting under items with commissioners stated publicly that the county's financial picture is not pretty. Once again, the millage rate is set up sometime in mid-August, and those decisions have to be made in the next several weeks. Again, we'll continue to follow the story as it develops. School board has put their list of projects that the East Bluffs will be used for, and the big project is, is the renovation of James E. Bacon Elementary School, about a $7.5 million project. A big part of that project is the renovation air conditioning of the old Nest Gymnasium, which is still used for a variety of activities, including rec basketball and PE classes at James E. Bacon. Or states it'll be nice for the kids at James E. Bacon to have air-conditioned gymnasium, as all other campuses do. Other projects, including the East Bloss, are the purchase of air-conditioned school buses, $1.5 million for building of a track at the high school, technology, and paving of existing parking lots. Once again, that vote will take place in November. The board and superintendent hoping the registered voters will vote for the East Bloss and continue the one-cent penny for education. Another vote before the voters in November will be for the city of Jessup registered voters, as they will vote yes or no for Sunday alcohol sales. At Tuesday's Jessup City Council meeting, the commissioners voted to approve putting those issues on the November ballot. There will be two separate issues. One will be to allow restaurants in Jessup to serve alcoholic beverages. Places like Alex and Angel's, the Strand, could also serve alcohol on Sunday if voted by the voting public. second issue is alcohol sales from Packy stores in Walmart and Piggly Willy Grocery Store. That also a yes or no vote. Registered voter could vote yes for one and no for the other, or vote yes for both, or vote no on both. Again, the issues will be decided by the registered voters in the city of Jessup come November. city stresses that it's two separate votes, but the go-ahead was given by the city council to put these questions before the voters Tuesday night at the city council meeting. Other notes from the city meeting. City Police Chief Mike Lane on hand setting a new program with the city, really an old program that simply is being, that was not being used and now has been put back to use, and that is community service. Lane says in the past, people in city court will be sentenced to community service, and the city just would simply dismiss it. But now the program's back up and running on a trial basis with former Officer Glenn Jackson overseeing the program, putting criminals to work, picking up trash, cleaning parks, mowing grass, a variety of things to clean up the city. Lane says no violent offenders are in the program, just those that get found guilty of DUI and other nonviolent crimes in city court. Lane says he sees the program taking off and providing a good service to the city of Jessup as well as helping the offender complete his or her sentence. City Manager Mike Deal was given the go-ahead to apply for a TAP grant, which would give the city $1 million. City share would be $200,000 for the purpose of sidewalk repairs and curb and gutter repair. Deal says the city can use SPLOS funds or discretionary funds or general fund money. Says they have several options on how to pay their share of the $200,000 if they receive the $1 million grant. Commissioners voted unanimously to allow the city manager to apply for the grant. City manager also says the city is looking to purchase 15 acres of land for the purpose of an inert landfill for the city. Deal says the city is currently in negotiations with the landowner who is looking to sell the property. Commissioners also approved the DDA's first Friday event set for August 3rd in downtown Jessup with the theme of miniature golf. People will stop by the train depot that evening, pick up their scorecard for the fun. Various merchants will have the whole one in front of their business. DDA Director Molly O'Haran says the city would like to sponsor a quarterly event in the downtown area called First Fridays, similar to events in other cities across the state. DDA asked that those establishments which serve alcohol be allowed to serve to participating people at the event. And again, that was voted on by a vote of 5-1. Commissioner Stanley Todd voting against. We'll come back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor, the commercial messages, so please stay tuned.
The Trademark at 3689 Savannah Highway has been serving Wayne County and surrounding counties for over 30 years. If it's a small hand tool you're looking for or a 30-ton bearing press, we've got it. You need a tarp? We've got you covered. We have any size you need, from a 5x7 to a 30x60. So if you need a quality tool at an affordable price, come see us at The Trademark, 3689 Savannah Highway, or call us at 427-6966. That's 427-6966. The Trademark. The tool supply place. Summer's here. Are you ready? At First Franklin Financial, we can help make this your best summer ever. Spruce up that old car, make your home shine, or take that family vacation you've always dreamed about. Whatever you've dreamed about, we can help make it happen with loans for any need, large or small. Just stop by and see the friendly Franklin folks at 1074 North Macon Street. We're located in the plaza next to Walmart, or give us a call at 912-427-4237, 427-4237, that's 427-4237. Apply online at www.1ffc.com. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License Number 5656. Do you need a new lawnmower? If so, head to Night Saw Company in Baxley. Choose from a large selection of name brand mowers. Night Saw Company offers the best lawnmowers at the best prices anywhere. They also have in stock belts, batteries, and parts for all mowers, along with name brand trimmers, blowers, and hedge trimmers. For over 50 years, Wayne Countyans have been getting their power lawn equipment and parts from Knight. Knight Saw Company on the Jessup side of Baxley on Highway 341. Final notes news, Wayne Memorial Hospital hosting its next blood drive Monday, July 30th from 11 to 5 p.m. The Blood Mobile adjacent to the exterior entrance of the cafe at Wayne Memorial Hospital. Appointments can be made by calling 1-800-RED CROSS or visiting the redcrossblood.org website and entering WMH when prompted for a sponsor code. Walk-ins are always welcome. All blood types will be needed and a very important blood drive at the end of the summer for Wayne County, Monday, July 30th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. And school gets in session Shortly, Wayne County High School parking permits are going to be sold on Tuesday, July 24th from 9 to 11 for students with perfect attendance and seniors, and July 24th from 1 to 3 for upcoming juniors and sophomores. In order to purchase that parking permit, students must have in hand the following 2018-2019 signed parking permit form signed by a parent, license, a driver's license, copy of tag registration, valid insurance card, and $30 cash or money order. They state no checks will be accepted. They will no longer allow the purchase of a permit with a temporary applied for tag. Again, parking permit forms are now available on the high school website and also at the school office Monday through Friday from 7.30 until 3.30. But again, they go on sale Tuesday, July 24th, 9 to 11 for students with perfect attendance and seniors, and July 24th from from 11 to 3, I'm sorry, 1 to 3 for upcoming juniors and sophomores. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports can enjoy in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, send a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. Morton Collision is located at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton's offers free estimates, 23-hour towing, and they guarantee their work. Call 427-3769 or after hours, 912-294-6140. The staff at Morton Collision Center works with all insurance companies. So for guaranteed work with a qualified staff, go to Morton Collision at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton Collision, quality you can see. There's no place like home. CHSGA Home Health provides the health care you need in the comfort of your own home. CHSGA Home Health is your local nonprofit home health provider with offices in Jessup, Vidalia, Albany, and Watkinsville. CHSGA Home Health offers on call services 24 7, customized care plans for physical, occupational, and speech therapy even IV medication therapy and wound care in the comfort of your own home. CHSGA Home Health is here if you or a loved one need nursing services or just a little help to get back to living life to the fullest after surgery or an illness. 
We have many more services available to help you on the pathway to recovery. CHSGA Home Health, your local home health provider. Call us today at 912-916-9795. That's 912-916-9795. Because there's no place like home. Good morning, everyone. Mostly cloudy skies for our Friday forecast. We've got a good chance of showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. Some of the rain will be heavy at times, and that means we could see localized flooding. Highs today will be in the upper 80s. A touch more sunshine tomorrow, a slightly lesser chance of showers. Temperatures will be in the low 90s. Sunday, sunshine and clouds mixed. Good chance of showers and storms. It'll be hot with highs low to mid 90s. I'm Georgia meteorologist Laura Huckabee in the GNN Weather Center. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scottbilt, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, R60 and higher insulation values, thermopane windows, and energy-efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles Bay or Sherida today. Summer has arrived, and so have all of the great summer sales. Now's the perfect time to shop downtown Jessup. Take advantage of the Downtown Development Authority's summer spectacular promotion throughout the month of July. Each time you spend over the minimum amount in a participating merchant, you'll be entered to win one of four great prizes. A downtown gift basket valued at over $1,000, a $250 gift certificate, a $100 gift certificate, or a $50 gift certificate. Winners will be announced on August 7th. Special thank you to our strategic partners, Ray and Air Advanced Materials, Wayne Memorial Hospital, Jones Medical Equipment, Ottomaha Federal Credit Union, Murphy Builder Supply, Williamson Development Company, State Farm, Sinotronics, and Wayne County Chamber of Commerce. Remember to shop local to win one of our four great prizes. Happy shopping. WIFOFM, Big Dog Country. Time to check your birthdays and anniversaries. Brought to you today by Bargain Power Sports. Happy birthday wishes today to Aiden Graham. Aiden Graham celebrating today. Happy birthday from Nana and Da. Wishing Aiden Graham. Happy birthday today for Aiden Graham. Anita Davis celebrating today. Happy birthday, Anita Davis from Ken and the family. For Anita Davis today, Anita Davis is uh, 62 on Sunday. Anita Davis celebrating on Sunday. Happy birthday, Anita Davis on Sunday. Pages are stuck together here. Mackenzie Wallace is celebrating as well on Sunday. Mackenzie Wallace, happy birthday from Papa and Nana Davis for Mackenzie Wallace on Sunday for Mackenzie Wallace. Mackenzie is uh, 16 today, or on Sunday rather, 16. Mackenzie Wallace, happy birthday. Happy 30th birthday on Saturday to Kara Smith, Kara Smith from Paulette and the Boys. And happy anniversary on Saturday as well to Mark and Lisa Thornton from Justin, Angie, Tucker, Cooper, and Grayson. So happy birthday to Kara Smith from Paulette and the Boys. And happy anniversary to Matt, Mark and Lisa Thornton, Mark and Lisa Thornton from Justin, Angie, Tucker, Cooper, and Grayson. Happy first birthday to Briggs Sykes. We love you. That's from Aunt Tempe, Uncle Jim, Ty, and Gracie. For Briggs Sykes, one-year-old. Briggs Sykes, one-year-old. From Aunt Tempe, Uncle Jim, Ty, and Gracie. Madison Dial celebrated yesterday. I don't know if we read this one or not, but it was not an email yesterday morning. So you want to text it in if you're going to do it right now. Text it in, 912-427-3711. Email sometimes uh, takes a little longer than, than expected. Anyway, Madison Dial, happy birthday. Uh, wishing Shauna Beecher Love, happy birthday. From Mindy and Matt Matt, yeah, it was yesterday, for uh, Shauna Beecher Love. Kara Smith on Saturday. Happy birthday to Kara Smith, my lovely girlfriend. I love you very much and hope you have a wonderful birthday weekend. Love, Barry. Wishing Kara Smith happy birthday from Barry today. All right, those are emails at 912 at birthdays at BigDogCountry.com. On to the Long County Calendar for the weekend here. 
on the 20th. Happy anniversary to Tommy and Kelly Milton. Happy anniversary to Tommy and Kelly Milton in memory of Willie Milton, in memory of Willie Milton. And then happy birthday to David Anderson, David Anderson. So happy anniversary, Tommy and Kelly Milton today in memory of Willie Milton. And happy birthday, David Anderson, Friday. On Saturday, Betty Morris is celebrating. Happy birthday to Betty Morris, Saturday, Betty Morris. Then on Sunday the 22nd, Brandon Yeomans and Manuel Sneed. Brandon Yeomans, happy birthday, Manuel Sneed. So Brandon Yeomans, Manuel Sneed, rounding out the Long County calendar for this weekend. Text Dosos at 912-427-3711. Here we go. Happy 30th birthday, Aunt Kara. Love, Raylan. Happy birthday, Aunt Kara. Love, Raylan. 30th birthday wishes today for Aunt Kara this morning. Where did my text screen go? There we go. Happy anniversary to my parents, Ronald and Judy Anderson, from their daughter, April, for Ronald and Judy Anderson. Happy anniversary from their daughter, April. Happy birthday to Kim Thompson. Kim Thompson and Holly Lane celebrating Holly Lane. Happy birthday to Kim Thompson and Holly Lane from Sean O'Quinn and the entire staff at Country Financial today. Happy birthday, Briggs Sykes from the Chief, Pam, and all the Rangers at Georgia Forestry Commission. Happy birthday to Briggs Sykes from the Chief, Pam, and all the Rangers at Georgia Forestry Commission today. Happy birthday, Briggs Sykes, one year old today. All right, clarification, Ronald and Judy Anderson, that is on the 20th. Happy anniversary on the 20th today from their daughter, April. All right, we did Kara Smith from Paulette and the Boys, and happy anniversary to Mark and Lisa Thornton. Okay, contest, 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 contest. Don't forget, the uh, round uh, 750 this morning, chance to win a four-pack to Wild Adventures. Birthdays, anniversaries on WIFO this morning, brought to you by Bargeman Power Sports. Famous birthdays today, singer Kim Carnes is 73. Help. Actress Diana Rigg, the Avengers' Mrs. Peel, is 80. Steed, what about the martlets? I don't know. That's why I'm here, eavesdropping on a lot of harmless birds. Eavesdropping? It's indecent. It's wasting time. And singer-songwriter Radney Foster is 59. Just call me lonesome, heartbroken and some. And uh, every time Bob says he went and saw the latest Avengers movie, I keep thinking they brought back Mrs. Peel and Steed. And then he tells me they're superheroes. So frame of reference, very important. The Avengers. We'll come back with your big dog country birthday kick winner. you got 30 seconds to shoot one in via text at 912-427-3711. Back after this for Bargeman Power Sports. Bargeman Power Sports invites everyone to come visit their unbelievable new showroom on Highway 301 South in Jessup and on Highway 341 in Brunswick. They have a great selection of ATVs, golf carts, mowers, and more. Bargeman Power Sports carries Arctic Cat four-wheelers and side-by-sides, the new popular Canyon four-wheelers and side-by-sides, cruise carts, and Yamaha golf carts. Bargeman has the full line of Kimco scooters. Don't forget Bargeman Power Sports offers a complete service department for all your service and repair needs. Stop by today and check out Bargeman Power Sports, Highway 301 South in Jessup, and their new location on Highway 341 next to I-95 in Brunswick. Your Big Dog Country birthday cake winners for today and the weekend. Aiden Graham and also Briggs Sykes picking up the cakes from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly. One each. Congratulations to Briggs Sykes and Aiden Graham picking up the cake from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. It's good to get here at the station. You come by, pick that up. It's good for today. Only head to the pig and claim your prize. Barge and Power Sports, Brunswick Jessup Online, Barge and Power Sports.com, bringing you birthdays and anniversaries. Briggs Sykes is one year old. Adam Graham also celebrating Big Dog Country Birthday Cake winners. On Sunday, happy birthday to Ashton Aldridge. Love your mother. Ashton Aldridge, love your mother. And happy birthday to Holly Lane. Holly Lane from Dylan, Skyler, Raylan, and Isla Fay. Happy birthday. Aiden Graham, winner. Briggs Sykes, one-year-old, picking up the cakes from the Jessup Piggly Wiggly Bakery. Good morning. 737 here at FM 105.5. Let's get a look at that GNNN weather center forecast. 
Good morning, everyone. Mostly cloudy skies for our Friday forecast. We've got a good chance of showers and thunderstorms throughout the day. Some of the rain will be heavy at times, and that means we could see localized flooding. Highs today will be in the upper 80s. A touch more sunshine tomorrow, a slightly lesser chance of showers. Temperatures will be in the low 90s. Sunday, sunshine and clouds mixed. Good chance of showers and storms. It'll be hot with highs low to mid 90s. I'm Georgia meteorologist Laura Huckabee in the GNN Weather Center. River level 6.7 feet projected to crest now at 8.9. 6.7 rising river level. Low tide this morning at 9.06. High this afternoon, 3.30, 6.8 feet. Low again tonight, 9.49. Sunset at 8.31. Temperatures in the uh, mid-70s uh, across the board. Right now, 76.76 here at WIFOFM, Big Dog Country at 7.38. Thank you for waking up at WIFOFM, the Big Dog in Jessup. Let's, uh, we did the weather. Let's do this. Uh, state news from GNN coming up in just a minute here on FM 105.5. It's time to take an adventure. Splash into family fun from mild to wild at Wild Adventures Theme Park in Valdosta. Rev up the excitement with the Team FMX and Globe of Death Motorcycle Stunt Show, July 19th through the 28th. And play under the stars during Moonlight Madness, July 21st through the 28th. And pay just 25 after 5. Upgrade to a season pass to play all summer and come back for Halloween and Christmas too. Start planning your adventure now at wildadventures.com. Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup is your one-stop health shop for most all your health care needs. They offer same-day appointments, and walk-ins are welcome for medical, chiropractic, physical therapy, and massage therapy care for immediate treatment and pain relief for injuries and illnesses of all conditions. Advanced Healthcare specializes in the treatment of spinal and joint pains, headaches, neurological and muscle conditions, and family medical needs. Advanced Healthcare accepts and files most major insurance plans, accepts motor vehicle and workman's comp cases, and they make self-pay plans affordable for everyone so you can get the care you need right away. Call or walk into Advanced Healthcare Center on South First Street in Jessup or visit their website at ahc4health.com to explore the many ways they can quickly serve you. Advanced Healthcare Center, serving the Wayne County area for over 27 years, Feel better today. Hi, this is Commissioner Mike Roberts. The early vote is going on now, and then on the 24th, the last chance to vote. I feel I have fulfilled a lot of my promises, just completed the bells and whistles at the Morning Glory Railroad Crossing in Gardai. Look, I would love the chance to finish several projects I have started, so please go to the polls and vote for me. I love being your commissioner in District 3 and hope I can continue my health has improved. I'm feeling good and ready to go. Paid for by Mike Roberts. FM 105.5, WIFO at 740, 20 minutes until 8. Right now, let's get state news from GNN. That's brought to you by England's Mobile Glass and England's Collision Center. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass. You know a good feeling is when you pick up your car satisfied. England's Collision Center and Mobile Glass. Serving our community for over 20 years for all your collision and windshield needs. England's Collision Center, located at 586 Southwest Broad Street, 912-588-9922. From the Georgia 811 Call Before You Dig News Center, I'm Matt Cook with the Georgia News Network. A former baggage handler for Delta Airlines is sentenced to two and a half years in federal prison for smuggling guns into planes at Hartsfield-Jackson Airport. The U.S. Attorney's Office says 34-year-old Eugene Harvey of College Park used his security badge to smuggle guns back in 2014. Prosecutors say that Harvey worked with another now-former Delta employee who hid the guns in carry-on luggage and flew them to New York to be sold. They say he moved a total of 135 guns that way. Investigators are trying to figure out if a body found in a Gwinnett County lake is that of a missing pharmacy intern. Alvin Ahmed is a recent UGA graduate. He disappeared Monday night after he got off work at a Gwinnett County Publix pharmacy. Pat Allen tells CBS 46 that she spotted the body. As we come across the dam there, we looked and I said, oh, is that a turtle? There's something floating that's not usually there. They still don't know the identity of the body for sure, but it was found not far from where Ahmed disappeared. His family thinks he was abducted. 
A recent Northeast Georgia high school graduate's been found dead after a nearly week-long search. GNN's Mark Woolsey reports. Authorities combed Elbert and Madison counties for days looking for 18-year-old Julianne Mosier. The Athens Banner Herald reports a deputy found her car crashed into a small pond Wednesday night after spotting tire marks on a dirt embankment. The Elbert County High graduate had been missing since July 12th when she left from Danielsville to visit a friend in the Bowman area. Police think she missed a stop sign, then careened down that embankment. I'm Mark Woolsey, GNN News. Vice President Mike Pence is coming to Georgia tomorrow for a rally for Brian Kemp. It'll be held in Macon. I'm Matt Cook with the Georgia News Network. Landscaping, spring tree planting, septic issues, whatever the digging project, contact Georgia 811 online or by phone at least two business days before you begin, even for something as simple as a mailbox installation. Use this free service for every digging project every time. Know what's below. Contact Georgia 811 to keep yourself, your home, and your community safe. Keep vital underground utilities intact. Visit Georgia811.com or dial 811. Safe digging starts when you contact Georgia 811. Hunger doesn't stop when school is out. Over 60% of Georgia's students, 18 and under, are eligible for free or reduced meals when school is in session. Parents and children can find free meal sites by texting food GA to 97779. Use the web based app. USDA Summer Food Rocks or call the National Hunger Hotline at 866-3-HUNGRY. Visit the Georgia Department of Education School Nutrition Program website at gasnp.org for more information. WIFOFM Big Dog Country, thanks for waking up with us on uh, Friday morning, 744 here at WIFO. And uh, come make them just a minute. It's Friday! Boy, that had some major delay. Hit that button about 10 seconds ago. Or it's Friday, the uh, it's Friday yellers. Mr. Q this morning, Bob. I have I have a group of people that I pay every, every Friday to come in and yell it's Friday. I pointed at them and they missed their Q. Okay, good morning for WIFO. Let's see if this one is. Corrections and retractions. All right, the corrections and retractions people are not getting paid today either. They were late. Happy birthday, Gabriel Agnilla from Daddy. Happy birthday today to Gabriel Agnilla. Gabriel Agnilla from Daddy this morning. Corrections and retractions. All right, 745 here at WIFOFM Big Dog Country. Coming up next, it's Sports with Bob Morgan. But right now, time for the Family Minute with Mark Merrill. That's brought to you today by Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology. Dr. Harris and the staff of Wayne Obstetrics and Gynecology want to wish the Wayne County Yellow Jackets the best this season. Dr. Jeffrey Harris offers comprehensive care for women in Jessup, Wayne County, and the neighboring areas. He is board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, and family practice. Dr. Harris offers health care to women in any stage of life. Call them at 530-7301. That's 530-7301. Go Jackets! Are you trying to help your child choose a spouse? I'm Mark Merrill with today's Family Minute. In his book, The Sacred Search, author Gary Thomas shares how to teach your children to choose a spouse and also respect. He emphasizes choosing someone with common values and common vision, someone they truly enjoy spending time with. Gary shares that the reward for making a wise marital choice is so tremendous that he doesn't want you to miss it. And the consequences for making a foolish choice can be so painful and lasting that he doesn't want you to experience it. Listen to my podcast interview with Gary at markmerrill.com as we discuss more on how to coach your child to choose the right spouse. Remember, your family first. For more resources on today's topic, go to markmerrill.com. The Family Minute with Mark Merrill, helping families love well. Name something you might accidentally leave on all night. Yes. Big Dog Country. When you have an accident, you, not the insurance company, chooses the body shop, and you only need one estimate. All you have to do is call Jerome Riles at BNC Collision Center in downtown Scriven to deal with the adjusters and insurance company. Whether it's a little ding or a major crash, that BNC Collision Center across from Wazden Cabinet Shop in Scriven deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. Call them at 579-2274. That's 579-2274. It's one-stop shopping for your home at Badcock Home Furniture Moore and Jessup. 
Badcock offers a full range of furniture, bedding, appliances, electronics, accessories, and floor coverings with the brand names you know and trust. Choose from a product line of more than 4,000 items. And when it comes to financing, Badcock makes it easy by offering you a plan that fits your budget. And be sure to ask about their 0% financing offer for up to 12 months. See Joe and Debbie Paris at Badcock Home Furniture and More, located on Maker Street and Walnut Street in downtown Jessup. When further treatment is no longer an option, hospice can provide services to manage symptoms and difficulties caused by illness. Emotional, psychosocial, and spiritual care, as well as support to the families and caregivers, are all part of hospice care. Hospice of South Georgia has been a part of the health community in Wayne and surrounding counties since 1998. The professional yet compassionate attention provided by our staff is unsurpassed. Widely supported by donations from the local population, Hospice of South Georgia is the local nonprofit hospice in Wayne County. Our administrative office is located at 1620.